Just let go, it's okay! Oh, please don't let go. There are ways to extend your C drive with unallocated space. All right, I'm guessing this is what's happening. You've got your C drive and some unallocated space, but there's something in the way. Maybe a recovery partition or a D drive, or even both. Now, when you go to extend C, that extend option is grayed out so you can't select it. But don't worry. In this video, I'll show you how to resolve it. Make sure to watch till the end so you don't miss any crucial steps or details. So, if you've just got a recovery partition blocking your way, start watching here. If it's a D drive or even more partitions, jump ahead to the timestamp below for the solution that fits your situation. Now, give me a follow and let's get to it. In the first case, we will be using disk part. Search for command prompt and run it as administrator. First, type in disk part, then list disk, followed by select disk zero. Be sure to replace zero with the number of the disk where your C partition is located. Next, enter list partition. You should now see a partition identified as recovery. Note its corresponding number. Mine is four, so I'll input select partition four. Now enter detail partition. That will give you a lot of information. Next, create a new text document. Then copy the following lines of information and paste them here like I do. We will need them later. Okay, so type in delete partition override. That'll get rid of the recovery partition. When you go back to disk management, you'll notice that your C drive and the unallocated space are now side by side. And if you right click the C drive, the extend volume option is no longer grayed out. That means you can now finally use that unallocated space to extend your C drive. Now we need to rebuild the recovery partition. The first step is to shrink your C drive. We're gonna set it to one gig Megabyte, which is 1024 megabytes then we'll use that new unallocated space to create a new partition now let's go back to disk part and type in list partition identify the partition you just made now select partition 4 now type in set ID equals now copy the code following type from the earlier created document then paste it here just give it a second to finish up then type in GPT attributes equals come back over here and grab that code after attrib paste it into disk part hit enter and you're halfway done now you can see it displayed as a recovery partition and it also appears in this PC. If you want to hide it, continue by entering select partition four. Here you can see its disk letter is D, so I will enter remove letter equals D. This will hide it. Now type exit to quit disk part. Finally enter reagency slash enable to enable the recovery environment. That's it. You have successfully added the unallocated space to the C drive to expand its space. But some users are saying the first method just doesn't work or they run into other problems. Some may have multiple partitions on their disks getting in the way, and there might be a bunch of files in there that they don't want to spend ages backing up and sorting out. So the only choice left is to go with third-party tools. Ezos Partition Master is capable of handling various scenarios. There's no need for complicated commands. You can solve the problem with just a few clicks. The link is available in the description. Now let's see what kind of magic it can do. For example, let's say there's a D drive and a recovery partition in the middle. All I have to do is select the C drive, click resize and move, then select fill in all unallocated space. It'll just jump right over those middle partitions and add the space to your C drive. Click OK, execute, apply, wait a second, and boom, done. Just like that, your C drive now has more space and the data on your D drive is completely safe. So there you go, two solutions for the can't extend C drive with unallocated space issue. Leave a comment if you have any issues. See you next time.